everybody. Uh, so my, for my instructional video, I wanted to do something totally different, uh, something that not a lot of people would know how to do or not think to do. I considered a lot of different things. Um, I know how to cut hair, I could have done that, how to groom a dog, how to fix a leaky faucet, but I went for something different and out of the ordinary, and I decided to do a comprehensive video on how to fillet a fish. So the, the fish that I decided to use and that I was able to find was a rainbow trout. Um, a rainbow trout is a really tasty fish that you can use in a lot of recipes. Um, so the very first step when filleting your rainbow trout is to get a nice surface that you don't mind getting a little bit filthy and to have your knife right nearby. Um, the next step is to start to scale the fish. So as you can see, this fish is gutted. So you want to take your knife and run it from the tail to the head to remove the scales from the fish. So you want to make sure that you get all the scales off because that is not a pleasant thing to be eating while you're eating your fish. Use the sharp side of the knife and run the blade along the skin. You can also rinse it with water once the scales become impacted on the knife. And you want to make sure that you do both sides evenly. The next step is to dip that fish into cold water to rinse all the excess scale off of it and make sure that it's nice and clean so that we can fillet it. You want to rinse the cavity as well with cold water. Next you're going to put the fish back on your cutting board or your cardboard and you want to remove the head by cutting along the gills. You can use a larger knife if you want but for my purposes because this is a small trout you can just use that same fillet knife. You don't have to remove the head but I think it makes it easier. The next is you're going to make an incision along the tail and then you're going to cut along the spine of the fish and keep the knife close to the spine. You'll be able to feel the bones in the fish with your knife. With a little slicing motion you want to move your knife through the fish and try to get as close to the bone as you can so you don't lose any of the meat. We're almost there. Beautiful, look at that. It's a really delicate process if you want to use the whole fish, which is what we're trying to do. All right, here we have our first fillet. Look at that, nice skin on one side. Place it skin side down, and then we're gonna do the other side of the fish. So it's gonna be the same thing. You wanna run your knife along the spine of the fish as close to the spine as possible. Careful not to cut your fingers. Make that same incision along the tail. and then we're gonna remove the filet. Same thing as before, you had the first round of practice and now you'll be even better. You wanna remove as much of the filet as you can. What a nice even piece of fish. There we go, there is the second filet. So we have two nice filets of trout. Now we're gonna take the knife and run it along the side to remove the fins. There's also a bone right there that you wanna take off so that you have a nice clean piece like you would get at a restaurant. Just cut along there and you'll discard that with the bones, the tail and the head. And we'll do the same thing on the other piece. Run the knife right along the edge. 
Oh, we also need to remember that there's bones in the fish. So in the Norwegian style of cooking and preparing fish, we leave those pin bones in. If you see some that you want to pull out, pull out you can, but traditionally Norwegians would leave the bones in and remove them while they eat. If you do decide to remove them, you can use tweezers. There are also other tools that you can use that you can purchase to remove those pin bones. So here we go. Now we're going to take off the fins off the other fillet. So we'll have two beautiful fillets. Remove that bone. This is why it's important to have a nice sharp knife. There we are. So we are going to be grilling these fillets. That's our method of cooking today. Um, we're not going to show you that part because this video is just about the filleting, but I am going to show you a little prep. Um, we can look for some the excess bones, and then we're going to get a little bit of olive oil. Get the grill ready with some foil. Make sure it's nice and hot and put a little bit of olive oil on each fillet. And make sure you olive oil on both sides so it doesn't stick. And then for flavor, we're gonna do a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of salt. and lay them right on the foil on the piping hot grill. And there you have it. That is how to fillet a fish. There must